A childhood fear to lose mother. As a child, when falling asleep or in my dreams, I often experienced certain realistic states, as if right there in my room there were evil entities that wanted to take my mom away from me. I was terrified. I would wake up, but I couldn't say a word. I screamed, but there was no sound. I tried to move, but I couldn't. Yes, this is exactly the same effect of sleep paralysis, colleague, that we've already mentioned here. Also, until I was 14, I used to experience panic attacks, during which I would sit down or curl up on a ball, and it seemed to me that numerous people were flying around me at this moment, screaming something that I couldn't understand. Then it just stopped. What was that? It's a fear, colleagues, a child's fear of losing a mother. Maybe they were the memories from a previous life, or from early childhood, when your mother was away for a long time, or you lost your mother, if we're talking about the past lives. You have a very sensitive consciousness, and an intense fear of losing your mom. Get rid of this fear, through the correction of the prenatal development, the technique that we just talked about, or through the astral cleansing. Try them. This destructive fear won't help you. This is your vulnerability, and anyone can use it against you by activating this image. For example, any man, boss, friend, or some other creature that will be associated with the image of your mother. You will be afraid of losing him just as you were afraid of losing your mom, and they, in return, will manipulate you any way possible. You would give anything away to never experience this state again. This is a huge vulnerability, colleague. Get rid of it as soon as possible. As soon as you can. Sensitivity is both a witch's fortune and a witch's misfortune. It is her fortune when it transforms into hypersensitivity and her weakness becomes her strength. But it's her misfortune if she isn't mature yet and does not know how to deal with it. But you'll have to deal with it. Better late than never.